Hello friends and welcome back to DFB Technology Training Channel, where we discuss all car related topics and more specifically about some nice and helpful car electronic tips and tricks. The topic for today is reading and writing Bosch EDC 16 C2, electronic control unit of Mercedes C-Class. For this car, many tuners make the mistake to read it via OBD port. While this is easy, again I have to remind you that this is not a proper read and no, OBD read is not original read. It is one tenth of the original file or less. For many deactivation activities, if you are facing issues, one of them is exactly the OBD partial read. If you want to have a real archive of the original software in full and to work free of headaches, please bear with me for this tutorial. First, you have to remove the ECU from the car. Some of you may say that the first step is to remove the battery and maybe they are right. But if you are doing the work carefully and if you are an experienced specialist, this is the fastest way because disconnecting the battery sometimes leads to a problem with loss of power steering calibrations and other codings that you will have to deal with later on. Anyway, with the ECU in your hands, we can continue along. The next step is to use professional chip tuning flusher. I'm using DFOX by DFB Technology and for this reading we will need the DFOX flusher, the power supply, USB cable, the multifunction cable and the brake box. After connecting the USB cable to your laptop and the DFOX, we launch the DFOX application. We press select driver, then bench mode, then Mercedes and MPC555 and you can see that the corresponding ECU is EDC 16 C2. Down there is an info button where you can find the detailed pinout guide how to connect the multifunction cable. After the proper wire connections, you can press OK button and then connect button. Keep ECU power on, message will be displayed. And you have to be sure that the switch on the multifunction cable is in on position. Press OK and the ECU data like ECU family and software number and processor type will be shown. Then you have to press read all button and to give the file some name and the reading process will start. When the reading is finished, you have to turn the ignition off again with the same switch on the multifunction cable. Now, if you open the chosen destination folder, you can see that you have internal flash or in other words, processor file an external flash file that we need for chip tuning or other functions like deactivating EGR or DPF, you also have an EEPROM file containing immobilizer info and other configuration issue data. And last but definitely not least, you have another file named all. This file can be used for restoring or cloning purposes. Writing is almost the same. First you have to again press select driver, then bench mode, then Mercedes and MPC555 and then select EDC 16 C2. Press OK button and when ECU data is shown, you have to press right external flash button. Navigate to the desired folder containing your modified work. Select the file and press open. After a while a message, checksum computed in writing. Do you want a correction of the checksum? Will be shown. Here is the most important part. To press yes or the car will not start. That's it, the writing process will start. When the writing is finished, you will see a message, turn the dashboard off and wait. Do that and press OK. After a while, a message end will be shown and that confirms that the successful writing process is finished. I hope now you understand how easy it is to use the so-called bench mode with the DFOX tool by DFB Technology. Thanks ever so much for watching the show, dear friends. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next episode.